the reason hunger makes you quit your diet and the reason hunger makes you give up on your diet. Now right away, when I say, when I use the word diet, I'm, I can hear it already. I don't do diets. I don't do dieting. Dieting doesn't work. Au contrary, you're always on a diet unless you're fasting. And the only time you should be fasting is if you're asleep or for religious purposes. So that being said, the reason hunger is the number one reason people give up and quit on their diet is because actually hunger is the culprit of the number one diet killer, which is binge eating, having a jailbreak binge, or overeating, right? Not always. You can be an emotional eater, but over half the time, anytime someone has a, a jailbreak binge, that was triggered by being too hungry. Um, I can't tell you how many times over the years someone has told me, just from the online platform and, and the nutrition stuff that I do, someone has communicated to me, you know what? I give up. I quit. I just had a plate of brownies. I just ate an entire sleeve of Girl Scout cookies. I give up. All right? Because the reason people want to quit and give up after a cheat meal or a binge meal or severely overeating is because it's an emotional, devastating blow. It's like an uppercut, a knockout punch emotionally, right? And it's tough to bounce back from that. And I don't care if someone's been eating well for two weeks, um, they follow their program meticulously for a month, a week and a half, whatever the time duration is, they have a binge meal, they eat that jailbreak binge due to triggered hunger, and it's like an emotional death blow. And that's why you've got to absolutely safeguard. The number one rule of your nutrition program other than to boost your metabolism, your eating program has got to safeguard you against hunger. If you want to sustain long-term in the fat loss game, if you want long-term success, your diet program, your nutrition program has got to safeguard. It's got to prevent hunger. You're never going to have success long-term in the eating game, in the fat loss game, if your nutrition program can't prevent hunger. I've always said this. I've, I've always said you should be hungry less than 30 minutes a day. There's 24 hours in a day. You're awake for 16 to 18 to 19 of those hours. Most people are actually awake. Of those 18, 19 hours you're awake, you should be hungry for less than 30 minutes. That's a tiny amount, right? And that's why I've always said, if you want to prevent hunger, don't wait until you're hungry to eat, right? Because by then it's too late, right? And hunger, what is hunger? Hunger is triggered by when your blood sugar level drops. You don't want to have a dropped blood sugar. You don't want your blood sugar to drop or to go too low because when that happens, hunger goes up. When blood sugar drops, nothing good happens, all right? And hunger shoots up. And another problem with hunger is that hunger doesn't fight fair, right? People say, well, I'm hungry. I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll fight it off. I'll ignore it. I'll, I'll push it off and I'll, I'll just eat two hours later or three hours and I get home. No. And that's why hunger starts as a spark. It grows into a flame, and before you know it, you've got a raging inferno on your hands. Hunger doesn't go away when you ignore it. It grows. That's why you've got to squash it and prevent it in advance. You've got to do your due diligence with hunger, or it will emotionally and physically defeat your diet program and defeat you in the long-term diet, fat loss, nutritious eating uh, game. Right? So don't wait until you're hungry to eat right? You got to go on ahead and eat before that blood sugar drops. I like to say always eat on the clock. Eat every two to four hours, just depending on your day, your schedule, your lifestyle, etc. But you don't want four and a half, five hours to go by without eating unless you're asleep. The only time you want to go a uh, uh, four or five, really, you know, five, six, seven, eight hours without eating is if you're asleep, right? Keep that blood sugar balanced and that will protect you and be a safeguard against hunger increasing ultimately leads to a jailbreak binge which ultimately leads to that emotional death blow and caving in I quit I give up on my program I give up and I quit we don't ever want to be there guard yourself against hunger eat on the clock have the right nutritional protocol set up to protect you for long-term success in the fat loss game lean looks nutrition signing out